2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Chicago, Illinois. We're here talking with Greg Green of Chop Smitty in the freestyle class. Take a minute and give us a little bit about your background. Uh, well, I've, I've always been a car guy for years, uh, drag racing, road racing, and uh, uh, 20 years of that, and uh, got a little too rich for my blood, so we decided to do something with two wheels. Uh, probably about five years ago, we got into building bikes. So. Uh, uh, started with what I could afford, uh, dreamed up a scheme to build a bike with a, with a Briggs & Stratton motor and a CVT clutch, and uh, I've kind of become uh, known for this now, so that's been my niche, alternative power plants and motorcycles. So, yeah. I, given that, that's an amazing concept. What's the vision behind this bike in particular? Well, the, the vision, like I said, was just something that I could afford. Uh, and uh, a lot of people say that I stole this from Ridley, but I've always been a car guy and, uh, and uh, did, had no idea what Ridleys were. A lot of people come up to me and say, hey, that's a Ridley, isn't it? And I had no idea. So after I did the research, I found out that uh, the Ridleys are, are, are very similar. But uh, again, I, I had no, in, no inspiration at all from their design. It was dumb luck, I guess. Uh, great minds think alike, I guess. All right, you just mentioned the engine. Tell me a little bit about it, a little bit more. What's going on here? It's a, it's about a 570 cc, 20 horsepower Briggs and Stratton racing engine that uh, it's been modified slightly with a cam and some uh, roller rockers and a little bit larger bore, uh, we scope pistons, titanium rods. Uh, it turns a lot of RPM. Uh, it'll propel the bike to about 100 miles an hour. That was one of our goals. We wanted to go 100 miles an hour and look like uh, the traditional uh, chopper so it would be more accepted. Uh, not, not dive too far out of the scheme of, of, of what is normal. Uh, so that's why we ended up with this. Anyway, I can use that engine my lawnmower to get done cutting grass a little faster? Yeah, it is, it is a basically a common, a common Briggs motor. Uh, V-twin, so, yep. Let's talk a little bit about the fabrication. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the front end. What'd you do there? Well, the front end is just a DNA uh, cost-effective part. Uh, uh, purchased component. Uh, now, uh, as far as fabrication, uh, at the shop, we machined all the wheels, both wheels. Uh, we machined the steering neck, uh, bent all the frame. Uh, we machined the rear axle blocks. We machined all the hubs wheels, uh, all the CNC components to support the jack shaft, the jack shaft itself. Uh, so pretty much everything that's not uh, uh, more sensible to purchase, we machined or built. So, Anything special about the back end that you had to do? Uh, just a hardtail, a standard hardtail. Um, all, the, all the metal work, is there, it's all metal. There's very little mud on top of anything. So the little rib on the center of the fender, that's, uh, that's all metal work. Um, we went around uh, the fender with a quarter inch round uh, piece of steel just to give it a finished look. Um, but yeah, it's just a hardtail. Before the interview, I find it a little bit intriguing about your inspiration for the paint. Can you uh, share with our viewers your inspiration for the paint? The, uh, the paint is just something uh, uh, we dug up that's uh, it's a county, it's just an ugly county truck orange um, that. Uh, we jazzed up with a with a matrix product, uh, uh, mid coat, sour apple mid coat. It's supposed to go over green, so there's a gold and a green flake with a pearl in the mid coat, and, uh, and that was the expensive part. But all in all, we've got probably 400 bucks in materials in the paint, so pretty cost effective again. That looks great. Uh, are there any other companies that you'd like to recognize for helping you with this build? Uh, we. We, we do all the machining uh, at uh, my business, Accutech CNC in Holland, Michigan. And uh, Chop Smitty, of course, we built the bike at, at our shop. And uh, I guess that's about all we got going on. Can we talk a little bit about the simplicity of this design? What, what does that mean to you? Simplicity is where it's at. Uh, I, I, I remember uh, Jesse James one time said something about how a chopper should only have uh, what's necessary to make it go and stop. And uh, that's all you'll find here, or besides what's required by the law, but um, go and stop. And everything else clean, very open and airy. And I think, uh, I think that gives the clean look that a lot of people like. I don't see a clutch here. What, what, what am I missing? No, no clutch. On this side of the bike, there's a, a CVT uh, torque converter, technically it's called, very similar to a 
golf cart or uh, or a uh, moped, uh, so uh, or a snowmobile. You just twist the throttle, and the the clutch holds the engine at peak torque all the time. So you'll never run out of gear; just run out of horsepower. So, is there anybody else you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. We, we like to do everything in house, so uh, we have control over as much as possible. So uh, we we did pretty much everything. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Uh, I have a website, and it's uh, www.chopsmitty.com, uh, or uh, we can be called at 616-836-3911. Thank you so much for your time. What a great build. Hey, thanks so much.